uh, talking about what to do when you get bit by a, a snake, it's like hearing stories about what to do if somebody gets stung by a jellyfish, like go pee on it, and that's not true in most cases. So there's a lot of misinformation. Uh, but as far as pre-hospital care, there's been a lot of things studied over the last several decades, and there's really no first aid or field treatment that's been proven beneficial. A lot of things have been tried, nothing seems to help very much, and a lot of things seem to cause more harm. What we generally recommend from the Poison Control Center is to immobilize the affected limb. So try to keep, you know, if it's an arm or a leg, as still and straight as possible. Uh, the idea being, if you're moving it around a lot, you're increasing venous and lymphatic flow back to the heart. Uh, so just try to keep the extremity immobilized, and then just get to a hospital as fast as you can. Sometimes this is really difficult if you're out in the bush or if you're on a, a, a camping expedition. But if you can, just get back to a hospital as soon as possible. Things that have been studied that have proven to be detrimental or causing harm include tourniquets, incision and suction, and venom extractors. Uh, all of these things definitely have no benefit and most studies show harm. So uh, the picture here is just an example of, uh, you can go to a lot of outdoors uh, stores or online and purchase things for camping trips and things like that. Um, this is a commercially prepared venom extractor. Um, it does not provide any benefit. They sell them still, uh, but there's no evidence to show that they're gonna help you at all.